getting hit with paintballs. Oh yeah, there we go. Boy, I literally just got home from Dead & Company at the Gorge like five minutes ago. We were pulling into the house and I saw a plane flying over the road and I was like, hmm, I wonder if that's Scotty and pulled into the driveway. He shoots me a text, he just landed. So now we're in the taco, we're headed to the airport. We're gonna go snag Scotty and begin our little journey to go fly fishing. <laughs> Welcome back to Phelps on the Fly, everybody. <laughs> I'm up here. We're gonna go fishing. We're gonna take the van out. We don't have much of a plan. <laughs> Sometimes the best plan is to not have a plan at all, besides driving north with our fishing and camping equipment. The point of this trip was to simply get together with Scotty and spend some time on the water. Summer goes by so fast, and when you have time to get out and fish, you just gotta go for it. Before heading over the border, we made a quick pit stop to say hi to some friends and gather some crucial intel. Hey, yo. What's up, Scotty? Hey, what's up? What's up, boys? What's going on, man? Nice to see you, man. Nice to see you. Where's what's up, bud? There's a man. Oh, shit. What's up, bro? Nice to see you. How are you? I'm fantastic. So there's basically one thing that Dylan and I will definitely, like, share as, like, a little bit of guidance. You know, you want different weights, right? So like really heavy shit, medium, light, and then depending on the line you're throwing. It's a it's a fun game, dude. And like, you know, I've never gotten to do much of the like, you know, OG steelheading or anything like that, but I've spoken with buddies that have and it's got a similar allure and feel to it, right? You know, they're so it's just, elusive. They're so elusive. Yeah. Um, they're migratory fish. They're, there's a lot of this nothing until chaos. So yeah. you guys are heading out tonight? Yeah, we're gonna head up there tonight, okay. uh, find camp, and then, yeah, probably put the boat in tomorrow, yeah. fish a little bit, and I really appreciate all the flies. I'm really yeah, excited. Yeah, it's good to see your face. Likewise, yeah. I didn't know if we were it's gonna be minute, able to do it. Yeah, yeah, man, it's a pleasure. Nothing better than waking up right next to a river, ready to go fish. Yeah. We will see you guys in the morning. Woke up next to the river this morning, got some Tim Hortons, and then we rolled over to the fly shop and got all our permits. Well, good luck out there today, guys. I appreciate it. You have a good day as well. Here in BC, it's a little bit different than other places. You have to get your permit for the province, which is separate, and then next you also have to get individual river permits. So every day, if you're gonna fish a different river, you have to get a different permit for each individual river. And then those regulations change from river to river. So on this river that we're gonna to fish today, it's single barbless hook. We can't fish two flies, no dry droppers, no double nymph rigs, and you can't even fish a streamer with two hooks. And these are all things that you wouldn't know unless you did the research or went to your fly shop and talked to people. Because it's really easy to make mistakes and fish stretches of river that are either closed or you don't have proper permits for, or even fish flies that you're not even allowed to fish. So these are things that's super important to take note of anywhere you go for the first time. Save yourself the embarrassment, save yourself the fines that you'll have to pay, and make sure you're respectful of the locations that you go to to visit and fish. 
so we can keep these places open to the public. We don't want to ruin anything or cause any sort of trouble as traveling anglers. We want to make sure we're respecting where we're going to. We're not leaving any trash behind and we're taking the proper precautions to do things in an ethical way. So just wanted to make that very clear. We're super stoked. We're finally here on the water. We got our permits. We got the boat ready to go and we're about to put it in the water and do some fly fishing. Let's so do let's do it. Right by the car body. Look at that engine right there. You can see the motor. Oh yeah. Oh. oh. oh yeah, bud. Good fish. Let's go. There it is. No. She's in training. She's in training. Tally, you're crazy. It's kind of midday, so it's really dang hot. <laughs> so I put on a little purple haze, downsized for success. I believe in it, Scotty. You can never, ever go wrong with purple, purple haze. Purple haze. It's just such a classic. Look at this foam bucket. Delicious. Oh yeah, bud. Oh yeah. That's the goods. Oh man. Oh yeah, dude. That was a nice fish, bro. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was nice sick. All right, I'm gonna go down with it. Yo, Scotty. Dude. Let's go. Yeah, dude. Nice, Cuddy. Good shit. Dude, that's a good one. <laughs> Flirting with raining, but holding off for, for now. Yeah. Keep thinking it's raining when I fish this streamer. Yeah, right. It slaps me in the face. I'm feeling the little drops. This looks super good. What is good, Scotty? This is where a big cutty or bully would be sitting. I know, man. Freaking anything big. This is the zone. Ooh! That's yeah. Better fish. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Called that one. Good. Canadian cut. Yeah, there we go. Nice, dude. nice, dude. Let's go. Dude, this is nice. Right. You got so, a good one. Got a good cut. Stoked. We're go. in Canada. 
Oh yeah, with the rain too. Oh, it's starting to dump. Uh oh, here it comes. Oh my God. Bring it, baby. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Good. Oh no. Oh. Come on. Oh. Oh. This is heavy hail. You want to pull off at all? Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, out! Oh. oh, shit! I've literally never experienced anything like this. Oh my god. That's like painful. That was the hardest tail. Definitely have some welts on my hands. Yeah. Are you bleeding at all? No. No blood, thankfully. Oh, I feel bad for Tally. She's Aww. all scared. It's okay, Tally. It's okay, Teddy. Yeah, I'm feeling like it might be our sign to maybe get out of here. So <laughs> we'll probably hop back in the boat and push back to the takeout and Hopefully get the heat rolling, warm up for a little bit, and maybe go get some food. Oh, yeah. Yes, there we go. Let's go. <laughs> Is a boy or a big I can't tell yet. Damn, they fight, dude. Oh, God. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Let's go. Let's go on the board. Oh, yes, if you guys want to see how much it rained today, <laughs> my drip boat is full of water right now. <laughs> A little bit of rain, a little bit of hail. <laughs> Pretty great first day, you know. Good shakedown. We're getting familiar with these rivers, getting the Canadian groove back. Yeah, we're just going to head back to town, maybe get some groceries, get some grub, get ready for tomorrow, and head up to a new river. Don't see any bears, no mountain lions. <laughs> Only saw one Sasquatch on the way here. Oh, dude, we slept in a bit. Well, I guess it was raining, so probably good that we slept in. We didn't need to wake up at 5.30 after going to bed at 1 a.m. <laughs> you sleepy dog, Telly? We uh, pulled off the river last night and went to town and got groceries and food, and we didn't get here till like 1 a.m. So we were supposed to wake up really early and go streamer fishing and it poured rain as soon as we started to wake up and just went back to sleep. 
So now it's like 8 a.m., which is still not super late. We can handle 8 a.m. wake up. Uh, just make some coffee and some breakfast. We'll probably take our time to go fishing because it it's a little gloomy out. It's not looking like the most amazing, nice, sunny summer day. And we didn't bring waders, of course, because it's uh, mid-July and, you know, it's not waiter season, but today might be waiter season. <laughs> Look at that perfect stream. Oh my gosh. Uh, oh yeah. Tim Hortons coffee with the Tim Hortons mug. It is the bully fuel. And the cutty fuel too. I think it's just the straight gas. <laughs> the river's looking a little silty. This is how it looked last time I was here and I didn't catch anything. So, I don't know what to think about it. Maybe that just means bigger streamers. But beautiful. I mean, this canyon, unreal. It's go time, baby. <laughs> it's go time, dude. Let's hit it. Let's yeah. rig up our rods and climb down this pretty freaking big hill we got here. Yeah. We gotta scramble. We can see the river. We can barely hear it though. It's way down there. It is down there. Got my spay rod here. Scotty has got the regular. Get eight weight. Eight weight there. Will's tie. With the my home fly. Tie. The homebrew. That's the fly that got the fish yesterday. The homebrew right there. Big nasty. Big and nasty, but we're about to walk from the van down this big hill here. River's way down there. We're leaving Tally this session. She's a great boat dog. She was awesome yesterday in the boat, but for wade fishing, she can be a little bit of a hassle. So it's nice and cool out. You know, it's good temps to leave her in the van. I don't feel bad about it. She can nap while we go down and hopefully catch some trout. We're getting antsy, so this will be a good hike to get our antsiness out of us. Getting a good glimpse of the river here. Super chalked up. Not too great a visibility, but we still swing flies in front of their face. Man, I don't know what to think about the color of the water yet. We're gonna have to do some R&D with our flies to see if that's affecting much. But the water itself looks good. Like this is the right kind of water I wanna be swinging the two-hander in. I don't know, the mystery is still out there. We'll have to see if we can make something happen. I mean, don't really know yet. That's time to fish. Time to fish, dude. All right, here we go. First cast in this particular stream. It's definitely some good swing water. Oh! That did not take long at all. Good fish, Scotty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's like my third or fourth cast. Well done. Dude, did not take long at all. <gasps> Scotty just caught one. This is getting me fired up. It's freaking game on. I think I might change tips here soon. Go a little deeper. Oh, that was a grab. Go. 
Let's go, baby. Hot fish, hot fish. <laughs> so all it took was a little bit of a depth change. I just don't think I was getting down there deep enough. And then as soon as it got in the zone, boom. Oh, shoot. Will's got one. Get him on the reel, dude. Oh, oh my, my God. God. Right on the bank. Oh, you go, net, 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 net. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, dude. What a stud. That was rad, bro. <laughs> Biggest one yet, right on the bank, tied to the bank, not in like an obvious deep spot at all, like in a riffle. There we go. There we go. I don't know if it was a rock or a fish, but it's definitely bent. <laughs> I think it's time to swap. <laughs> that session, wow, kind of blew my mind. I'm convinced that we're, uh, we're at the right place. You're spade fishing, bro.